When you become a patient at the center, there are so many questions swirling in your mind about your care alone. But what about, what about the questions related to how we work and how to communicate with us? That's what we're talking about today on Lunchtime Live at the Center. Ali Revoir, Manager of Clinical Operations, is giving us the 411 about how to communicate with us so you can get the fertility, your fertility care needs met. Ali, hi, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Ali, we have four offices, Branford, Farmington, New, um, New London, and Hartford. Does each office have its own number or is there a general number for us? Yes, so each office has their own individual number. Um, the Farmington phone number is 844-467-3483. Um, the Branford phone number is 203-481-1707. Um, the Hartford number is 860-525-8283. And New London is 877-860-8044. So these actually are all on our website as well. Um, so if you wanted to reference back there is at the bottom of our webpage. Right, so at yukonfertility.com. Yes. And when are those phone, when are our phones live? What, what are our hours? What time is someone going to answer the phone live? So the phone lines become live um, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Um, before 9 a.m., if you're looking to reach someone or after 4.30 p.m., um, the answering service will take your phone call and then forward the message over to a car staff member who's in the office or on the call to you know, respond to your question. Um, on the weekends from 7.30 to 12, you um, can call in and reach the answering service. And again, they will take your message and get it to a live staff member on site um, to answer the question. Okay. And um, what happens when someone calls before, or I mean, we talked a little bit about that. When they're coming in for, uh, for monitoring, is someone going to, there to answer a call or how do they know when they can come in? Because we have uh, patients are often in their in their car. Um, yes. So if they're coming in for monitoring and they're looking to reach someone, they would text our um, texting system that we have okay. um, just to let them know that they're they're in, you know, the parking lot. Um, if they're trying to call someone over the phone before 9 a.m., they would reach an answering service um, and the answering service would then, you know, contact someone in the office and we would get a hold of them. Okay. And so how does, how would a patient contact someone on their clinical team if they needed to reach them? So um, when we really created such a great resource on our website um, with instruction, instructions on how to contact the clinical team, um, the page is called How to Communicate with Us. Um, and this page has each doctor and their clinical team's phone numbers and extensions. So both their IVF nurse and their clinic nurse. Okay. So to reach their nurse directly, what they would do is dial the main number and then um, put the extension in for their nurse and they should reach them directly. So um, we do say the best form of contact with the clinic nurse is via the phone. Um, and the clinic nursing voicemails typically are checked up until about 3 p.m. each day. And the IVF nursing voicemails are typically checked up until 4 p.m. So if um, you do leave a message after those times, uh, they will get back to you within the next business day. But if you're like a regularly active um, cycling, cycling patient, they will return your call by the end of day. And what about through email? What, is email okay? What's, what's, how do, what's the best way? So we always say that the phones are the best way of communicating with the clinical team. Um, we really don't recommend the email as a method of communicating with your nurse only because we currently don't have a secure portal um, for managing confidential clinical information or email correspondence. Yeah. Um, also, when nurses are off, we do not have anyone checking their emails. So we are open seven days a week, which requires some of our nurses to be working the weekends. Um, which then we have to have them off during the week. So if you have, uh, you know, a clinical matter that you need addressed and your nurse is off for the day, she will not be able to respond to you via email until she returns. Okay. Whereas the phones, if you were to call and leave a message on her voicemail, um, we are always covering the phone lines. So someone would be able to get in touch with you to answer, you know, your clinical question that you have. Okay. And 
can you talk a little bit about the process? This question I know comes up often is the process in IUI and what to do like when someone has a color change in the ovulation predictor kit. So when you have a color change um, and you should call our IUI line. So um, the Farmington IUI line is the main number, but then you would dial the extension of 8001. Um, the Hartford IUI line is 860-470-3451. Mm -hmm. And the Brantford IUI line is the main number, extension 8304. So what you would do is you would leave a voicemail on our IUI line. And when you leave that voicemail, you would just say your date of birth, um, the last four of your social security, um, and your mm -hmm. phone number and your name and the same information for your partner. Okay. So um, at 7.30 the next day, the front desk will be giving you a call to schedule um, your partner's semen analysis drop off, as well as schedule your IUI. For that day and that information is on the website as well yes it is okay great um and we're on facebook obviously is there is it okay to communicate through facebook uh through messenger so um the email through facebook is monitored monday through friday from nine to five it is not monitored on the weekend but we do um ask that any method of communicating with your clinical team in regards to any clinical matter doesn't happen on the facebook website um, but should be directly called into your clinical team. Okay. So what I'm hearing is phone is best and yep. someone is around. Um, yep. Someone is covering phones in case you need it. What yep. about emergencies? What What do you do what, what, if there's an emergency? So if there's an emergency and it's a time that, um, you know, maybe you can't reach somebody on the phone, the answering service will get in touch with, um, okay. if it's, you know, before hours or after hours, if you call during hours and you reach the front desk, they will get your, you know, any emergency to the physician or to your clinical team. But after hours, it would go to the um, answering service. They would get in touch with the fellow who's on call and that issue would go directly to the physician okay. to come up with a plan to move forward. For IVF cycles um, and really any cycle, anyone who's cycling, how do callbacks work at at the end of it, at the end of each day, or at the, each day. So um, the blood work results take, you know, a couple hours to process and then be documented. Um, your physician will always review your blood work results and come up with a plan to move forward. Um, the doctor will then, you know, review the results with the clinic nurse, clinic or IVF nurse, and then um, the nurse will be returning your phone call between two to six p.m. to go over what the, you know, physician has decided and what they need to do to move forward. So someone who is actively cycling can always um, expect to receive a call, but just know that it can be anywhere between two and five or six. Yeah. Okay. Yes, awesome. Um, is there anything else you think that patients should know as far as how we should have like, communicating with us? Um, the only thing I would just add is about um, our parking lot texting numbers. I know that can be confusing as a way to maybe call in if they can't get a hold of us. Um, but that really should primarily be used as a method in just managing our patient flow, especially during these times of COVID. Um, so we really just ask that that be used just for when you arrive on site and then you have an upcoming appointment and you would just text that number and then someone will you know, text you back to let you know that you can enter the building. Okay, so that is our virtual waiting room. Yes. Parking lot is. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. that patient should just text when they get in or text yep. when they get into the parking lot and then someone will text them back for when they can come into the office, correct? Yes, exactly. Awesome. Allie, thanks for sharing this today. Um, I've seen these questions come up a lot, so this is really helpful information. Good, I'm glad. Thank you so much for having me. Well, and join us next week, same time, same place, for another Lunchtime Live at the Center. See you then.